So fellow Hilda fan, let me ask you this. Are you tired of constantly waiting several years just to finally get a piece of new content you have been so desperately waiting for all this time for? Well, luckily, you're in luck, because earlier this morning it was discovered that some brand new information on the Stephen Davies tie-in novels from Season 3 have come out and... Wow. It is... A lot. And I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know. So first of all, you might have heard that the show's third season was confirmed to be the case for later this year. However, the only source I could confirm from that is from a site called What's on Netflix, which I have previously talked about on this channel, may have had a little misinformation around it. However, seeing how we're now getting new time books that are scheduled for later this year, I think I'm pretty confident in saying that they are indeed telling the truth here. Also, a brand new tie-in book called Hilda's World, A Guide to Trollberg, The Wilderness, and Beyond is scheduled for release on October 3rd of this year. So far, we know that this book will come in a hardcover, be about 80 pages long, and the description reads this. Deep in the Trollberg Library is a book that tells of Trollberg and its Trollbergian inhabitants. Take a tour of the city and learn about its secrets from Hilda herself. My theory is that based on this description alone, It'll act as a sequel to Hilda's Book of Beasts and Spirits, that and the fact that both tie-ins are being made by Emily Hibbs. So it'll be really interesting to finally get to see how much lore this tiny of a city really has. Maybe it'll even show us some stuff we didn't quite know yet. I mean, what could possibly be more crazy than teenage nightmare spirits or talking giant worms or Eric Alberg? I think based on that premise alone, I would love to see how much more there is to this town that we know of. And hopefully, we'll get our first glimpse into how things work out between Trolls and Trollberg. Okay, so before I move on any further, I'm going to give you guys a big warning here because what I'm about to say from here are potentially huge spoilers for the next season. So much so that the creator himself, Luke Pearson, actively wanted these spoilers to not be spread around. So proceed with caution. Then why are you talking about these spoilers, Ray, if Luke didn't want people to know them? Because one, these descriptions and our covers have come from official sources, aka Flying Eye Books. Otherwise, I would not be talking about these if they came from an outside source. And two, well... Because I'm a YouTuber and unfortunately someone's gonna talk about it one way or another. Although I will not be showing the full cover to one of the newer tie-in novels as I don't want to get in trouble in terms of potentially getting a copyright strike. So while I am breaking Luke's wishes on this a bit by sharing this new information, I feel like because this is something that you can find as public information by the publisher itself and not just some random leaker, I feel that it is only fair to share it with you guys since it's technically official. But seriously, final warning of clicking out of this video right now because again, these are huge, huge spoilers for the new season. Earlier this morning as of the writing of this video, some new listings for tie-in novels from Stephen Davies popped up from Flying Eye Books. These appear to be tie-ins for the third season with three books as per tradition. Hilda and the Laughing Merman, Hilda and the Faro Talk Tree, and Hilda and the Fairy Village. All of which are paperback only, and one of these actually has an official cover already, and that's Hilda and the Laughing Merman. Now, again, I can't show this unblurred unfortunately, unless I want someone at Flying Eye Books to come and copy strike me, so I'll just describe it as is. The text has had nothing changed much except, you know, it's still the same, created by Luke Pearson and written by Stephen Davies sort of thing, just with the new title. As for the artwork itself, it appears to be Hilda, David, Frida, and a brand new never before seen character which I'll get into, on an inflatable boat in what appears to be some kind of weird cave or maybe even a water slide for all I know, chasing this green creature. Now, as for the actual synopsis for the book, it reads as follows. Join our beloved heroine as she heads to scout camp, hoping for the most normal scouting exposition ever, but when her expedition map gets lost and she encounters a merman fleeing a vicious sea serpent, Hilda is flung into her next adventure. Now first off, there is a lot to uncover with this cover and synopsis as we see now, but I think to get the obvious out of the way, we should start off with the brand new characters that we see with this cover. 
From what I can gather, that green creature we see in the cover is very likely one of the merman that the synopsis has described. Looks oddly Irish for a merman, but okay. And this mysterious fourth character that's between David and Frida. Now, believe me, I've checked through every single episode of the series in which the Sparrow Scouts have a prominent role in, even the latest movie and everything, but I have not been able to see this character anywhere. The closest I can find was this guy, which even then still definitely looks nothing alike. So it's unclear if this new character is supposed to be a new protagonist of the season, or if it's just a one-time thing with the Sparrow Scouts. Either way, it's really interesting to see that the show is willing to take new directions with its characters, especially when you consider the fact that Frida and David now appear to be considerably older. Aside from that though, there's nothing else I could really say except maybe if this was actually a part of season 3, then I think an episode like this will be a pretty fun time to watch if it's executed well. Could imagine it being like the Sparrow Scouts episode again, although hopefully more entertaining and less forgettable this time around. Okay, so this is where things start to get interesting. You guys know how everyone in this community seems to talk about how that one time in the movie where Hilda just casually asked about a troll dad, or the fact that everyone seems to think that the bell keeper is most likely her father. <laughs> well, the theories that have stemmed from those are now most likely completely debunked. The other book listing that was made, Hilda and the Far Talk Tree, is a novel we don't know a lot of details of, except that, you know, paperback only, and a really, really intriguing synopsis. Join Hilda as she faces her past when she spots her father at Trollberg Harbor. Join our beloved heroine as her father, Anders, returns to Trollberg, and Hilda finds herself in the time of giants. Fantastic creatures and daring adventures are all just a part of average everyday Hilda, but what will she do if her reunion with Anders isn't all she hoped for? That's right, this is not a joke. For the first time in Hilda history, we finally know exactly who her father's name is. And it seems extremely likely that we are going to see him for the first time in this final season. I mean, there's so much to unpack and speculate with just this one piece of text alone and first of all, it makes the theory that the bellkeeper is her father most likely debunked it because again, the synopsis seems to imply that this is the first time Hilda or anyone really is seeing her father for the first time in a long time. Secondly, if we go back to that script Echo Mitchell aka Woodman's voice actor put out a snippet of from nearly two years ago, if you look very, very closely at the script, you would notice two things. One, the Far Talk tree is mentioned in this script, and two, this scribbled out title here, which appears to read out Lost in Time, seems to correlate well with the synopsis that we see with the tie-in novel. So that basically means that not only are we seeing Hilda and their father Anders make an appearance in this episode, but it seems likely that Woodman will play some kind of role in it as well, so... Wow! <laughs> oh, this is a lot to take in. I kind of hope that Flying Eye Books didn't just casually give this info out about Hilda's father so soon, because that itself is like a huge, huge spoiler of the new season, but all I know is that it seems that this is going to be the biggest episode out of the entire season, and possibly of all of Hilda as well, so that is certainly something to be excited about. And finally, the last tie-in novel listing that we have seen pop up by Flying Eye Books is Hilda and the Fairy Village. The synopsis reads as follows. Join Hilda as she visits Tofoten, a fairy village, and uncovers the truth behind her family's past. Join our beloved heroine as she visits her great aunt Astrid in Tofoten. Hilda is surprised to discover that it's a fairy village. Her mother had never mentioned that. Hilda becomes troubled by a crackly radio presenter, ominous dreams, and soon finds herself in Perel. Fantastic creatures and daring adventures are all just a part of another average day of Hilda. But will her questions be answered? Now firstly, what's really interesting about this synopsis is that unlike the other newer characters, 
This isn't actually the first time we've seen Astrid's name pop up in the series. In the beginning of the Hilda and the Mountain King movie, we see Baba playing around in Hilda's home, but one detail that you can find in a blink or you'll miss it moment is that Baba is playing around with a bunch of VHSs, one of which has the title Astrid's Visit. So that pretty much confirms that we are going to see Hilda's great aunt, aka Astrid, in season 3 when it comes out. But it doesn't stop there. If we look at one of the scripts that Amira aka Frida's voice actress posted on her Instagram, which is also from nearly two years ago, we see that a portion of the script is dedicated to Hilda, Frida, David, and Johanna. So it seems very likely that along with seeing Astrid, all of these other characters will have a role in it in some way or another. And the front page of the script she also posted in another story further proves the series thanks to it saying, Fairy Isle. Okay, so to recap, we are getting three tie-in Stephen Davies books, very likely based off episodes from season three. Hilda and the Laughing Merman is going to introduce a new creature character, as well as a potentially fourth protagonist to the series. Hilda and the Far Talk Tree is finally going to reveal who Hilda's dad is, and maybe even have a whole episode with him and the Woodman. And Hilda and the Fairy Village will be an episode potentially exploring and going more in depth on the rest of Hilda's family, including her great aunt Astrid, with Frida, David, and Johanna coming along the journey as well. I think the biggest thing we got out of all of this today is knowing that we are soon going to see Hilda's dad, once and for all, and that is huge. The synopsis also seems to imply that there might be something wrong that goes on with this, especially when it comes to time, and well, I don't know about you, but it seems so far that this episode might beat out The Deer Fox and The 50 Year Night as being potentially the best episode of all time. But I also only hope that it's not super sad. So what do you guys think? Are you excited about this news? Are you planning to buy all these tie-in novels or watching season 3 at all? Let me know in the comments below. And be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more Hilda content. Peace.